Hey y'all, it's me, Gail, and guess what? Today I'm coming to you with no makeup. <laughs> this is no makeup Monday, although it's probably not Monday when you're watching this, and it's definitely not Monday when I'm recording this. Anyway, I am going to take you on a day with me, the life in a reseller. It's a busy day, so what I'm doing is I won an auction on Highbid, and I have to go pick those items up from them and they open at 10. So what I'm gonna do is run by Goodwill. There's one in a town near where I have to go. And this place is an hour from me. So I'm gonna hit that Goodwill up because they open at nine. After that, I'm gonna go to the auction, be there when they open at 10, and then I'm gonna come back home. I'll show you what I got, and then I'm gonna get to listing some things. And then of course, I'll show you what I got. So let's go. After driving down this boring country road, we hit Goodwill. And here's an example of what the electronic section looks like. I looked through it, did not find anything, kind of a hot mess. This is a really big one. I've been looking at clothing just a little bit more, trying to get an idea of whether or not it's something that I want to sell more of. I get caught up in this one looks cool versus this one has good comps. So I, uh, I need to work on that just a little bit, but there's a Reebok kind of hoodie. So I had taken um, this one, just an Under Armour, um, a couple of Nikes. This one I believe is a PGA Golf one. This one was really cool. It's an Ombre Puma. Okay, I got this New Wave um, Pro Plus. These sell for about 70 online. Um, just this ring sells for 40 i mean uh yeah around 40 to 50 ish so i got that and i only paid 8.99 for it and i'll take you inside and we'll look at what i got here these are the polo shirts that i got at goodwill most of them are this wrinkle free type material and i got these all for 5.99 except one of them was 450 they uh, was on sale but my goodwill they're 450. Oh man, I just noticed this has a logo. <laughs> Guys, I guess you should check your stuff before you buy it. This is a back to school scramble. So it's specific to a um, county, but I thought it was a plain Nike um, dry fit. It's got the swoosh on the side right here. It's purple. Who doesn't like purple? So this may cause it not to sell for much. I just noticed that gotta take a look at things y'all um this is a also nike golf tour performance it's also beautiful purple nike swish on the logo no logo on the shoulder or the back it's plain and solid like it this is a pga tour xxl and the larger sizes tend to sell well you got the embroidered logo there it's important to take pictures of that stuff kind of plain as you can see but I like the way it is a good material for six bucks. I could probably sell it for 15 or less. And this is a Puma. I'm not sure how well Puma sells for. I did not really look at all the comps on these, but um, Puma I think is a pretty good brand, but more than anything, I like this ombre effect that is going on here. Um, you got the little, whatever he is, cat. And this is a size XXL. Again, those larger sizes sell pretty well. It's all the way around ombre, so I, I'm digging it. And Under Armour, I don't think sells real well, but I was loving this. This looks orange, I guess, in the picture, but it's really coral um, and a green stripe. And there's, or gray, and then there's the logo that's gray. So this is a large, but yeah, I thought that was a really neat, colorway and uh it's kind of got this seam on the back edge and it says under armor here so that's a nice shirt but they're all really good no stains so the only one i'm really worried about not really moving is the one that has fort bend county on it but what are you gonna do so i don't know what do you think i'm trying to do a little bit more in the way of clothing so obviously these are not home runs but they might be a little bit of bread and butter. They'll be easy to list. All I got to do is fold them and put them in a plastic bag and I'm done. Okay, I got this machine. Look how heavy duty it is. I mean, the casters are as big as my hand. It's a piece of medical equipment. I'll show you in a second. Um, and these are pipettes that I got. Um, these three for 
I don't know, it was like $10 or something like that. And they each sell for about 50 to 60. I don't know anything about them. It's all medical related. And then I got this telescope over here. I paid $20 for it, 25 maybe. Can't remember what the comps are on that. I have to look it up. They were kind of a couple of different ones. I needed more specifics. But this machine, I paid 35 for it. Sorry, but I'm showing it to you like this because it weighs like a couple hundred pounds. I had to have some guys help me, or actually some guys did put it in here for me. Um, so it has the monitor and this. Well, after doing some research, this turns out to be a hemodialysis machine. So you put the stuff in there to do dialysis at home. It's kind of interesting. The cable for the monitor does not exist. So I can't test that that is there. I need to learn freight, but for now I just put it on eBay and local um, personal Facebook page and did it for pickup only and no bites so far, but trying to go for $700. Brief interruption for a beach shot. Yes, I went to the beach as well. Okay, so I got 12 items listed. I got a hat, a Vans hat that I bought at Goodwill and I listed those three pipettes that I mentioned and a boatload of shoes. Let me show you those. These are shoes that my ex gave me. Um, his wife had them, didn't want them anymore. Instead of donating to charity, they donated to me. So check these out. They're all like brand new. So this is a box, like, you know, so more than a foot tall. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so these are all mostly Skechers. There are some Clarks, as you can see there. There's some uh, naturalizers, but most of these are Skechers. Um, they range anywhere from like tennis shoes like this to uh, wedges and flip-flops. And then we've got some leather Hush Puppy, or these are naturalizers. I have a pair of Hush Puppy uh, tassel loafers. So I got all of these listed. Last night I listed a few, I don't know, maybe six or seven. And then I listed the rest. So um, all in all, I think I got like 12 pair listed. What I've done is increased my prices on eBay. Just as soon as I list it, I increase it by 35% and then I run a sale on it. And that gives me the flexibility to take better offers or offers that are lower than what I have it listed as. Um, it gives me an option to list a variety of sale prices or percentages. So I'm doing anywhere between like 10 to 32% off because I have a 35% increase on my price. So it's kind of like a trick in the mind, you know? Some people aren't really tricked. So I'm getting some good sales, but then I'm not. So I'm not sure if it's because of the sales that I'm running or if it's because of, I don't know, just the particular day. Because one day I had like eight items sell, which is rare for me. And then the next day I had two. So. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But anyway, I'm giving that a try, but I'm also increasing my promoted listing percentage. It was one, and now I'm doing anywhere between five to 10. I just like every few days, I change it or turn it off and then turn it back on. So basically the 35% increase is to allow me to do discounts and promoted listings to getting me where I originally wanted to get. I know that was a long explanation. This has been a busy day for me in the world of reselling. I have done quite a bit of listings and I'm doing that because I want to create a draft bank. I've seen over and over and over again where people are saying that it's not how many you list, but how often you list. So I have a goal of listing five items a day at least. So if I, like today I had some in draft, I've got a draft bank that I've created. And this morning I released five of those to go active. And then every day I want to make five new active. That's my goal. My understanding is if I put a whole bunch of them out there on one day, but don't for five more days, then eBay sees that differently and um, maybe don't get as many sales as if they see that I'm listing consistently. So consistency should be the key. I'm testing that out. I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time. If you like this kind of content, uh, just let me know. Well, if you like the content, thanks. I'm glad you do. Here's a button if you want to subscribe because you may not already be. And then if you want to see a playlist of my vlogs, kind of the day in the life of a reseller, you can click here. My full-time 
corporate job is ending and I'll be doing this full time. Join my journey if you're interested. Bye.